instead of just reacting to acts like these, you know? Maybe we need to actually focus on why these things are happening. Smashed windows and graffiti are just some of the ways that gentrification has been protested. In Montreal's St. Henri neighborhood, some residents say they don't feel safe in their own homes. But as rents rise across the country and people are pushed out, how do we live through gentrification in harmony? The city needs to step up and find a solution to make sure that everyone has a space in, in St. Henry. Glue in the locks is what Andréanne Desilets found three months ago when she showed up to work at the Benedict Labre House, a St. Henri community organization that serves the homeless. A lot of other places had the same thing done. I guess they could call it violent acts, but uh, I also understand their standing point and how they feel that they don't have a space in this community anymore. Residents say that anti-gentrification violence is common in this neighborhood. Over the last few years, cars have been lit on fire and a grocery store was stormed in broad daylight. Some say these types of acts are ongoing and they don't know where to turn to. Personally, I feel safe and I haven't noticed anything, but my opinion might change if, if the acts continue, I guess. There has to be a place for everyone. And I think, I know people are feeling pushed out and they're feeling helpless and vulnerable. The city should provide uh, uh, to the people uh, some kind of a community or some area where they can go and uh, they can have their voice. Rents are rising across the country from Toronto to Vancouver. Luxury condos replace affordable properties. Politicians in Montreal say they're trying to ease the blow. We are putting all our tools forward to try to uh, provide more affordable housing for individuals, seniors and families. It's something that we take very seriously and we, I think we have to address that issue. As the neighborhood continues to change, residents hope more resources will be available for those in need. In Montreal, Sharon Yonin-Reynolds, City News.